wait with you for the well, That's good. Are you waking up for Ah, yes. I remember one of my children, they were dedicated, cried all the way through. <laughs> but I won't say which one. <laughs> right, well, it's wonderful that you have brought Anthony and Joshua for this time of thanksgiving and prayer. And we're going to give thanks to God, our Heavenly Father. He is the maker of all things. He is the giver of all life. We are going to thank him for the gift of this lovely little baby boy. Uh, Temi is going to dedicate herself to the Lord and promise to bring this little one up for him. We as a church family are going to pray for God's help for Temi in this big responsibility that she has of bringing up this child. All of us have to account to the Lord for the way that we bring our children up. And we're going to pray for this little baby. We're going to ask our Father in Heaven to protect him from the dangers and evils of this world. And most of all, we will pray that he may, by God's grace, become his true child through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. We do not make this child a Christian. We cannot do that. But we're going to pray that early in life, he may seek and find the Lord Jesus as his own personal saviour. So tell me, Mertha, Mertha, I've got a few questions for you now. And just really need to answer to them, we do that. Do you acknowledge Almighty God as the giver of life and do you thank him for his goodness to you in giving you this little baby? Yes, we do. Excellent. Do you dedicate yourselves as Anthony Anthony Joshua's mum and friend of the family to live, to speak and to run your family life in such a way that your child may be encouraged to honour the Lord and obey his commandments? Yes, we do. Brilliant. Do you promise to teach your child the truths of the Christian gospel and to encourage him to seek the Lord Jesus Christ as his own personal saviour. Yes. And, as Temi's family and friends and the church, do we promise to help and support her in her role as Anthony Joshua's mum? Yes. Excellent. Let's pray together. Father God, we do thank you for the birth of this child, this precious gift of life. We thank you for the way that you have blessed Kenny and her family with this wonderful gift. And we do just pray for this child. We ask her Heavenly Father that your hand of blessing will be upon Anthony and Joshua, that you will be with him throughout his life, that you will guide him that you will guard him, that you will protect him from all evil. We do just pray that he grows up healthy and strong. And we ask Heavenly Father that you work in his life so that he comes to know you as Lord and Saviour soon. Lord, please just protect him and guard him and call him to yourself as soon as possible. And I pray, Lord, for Temi. I pray, Lord, for, for his father as well. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you bless them and equip them and give them everything that they need to provide a secure home, a stable family. We shall just be with them and lead them and guide them. And I also pray, Heavenly Father, now for all of the families within this church. Lord, the heart's desire of all Christian parents is that their children grow up strong in the love and knowledge of the Lord. So we do just pray that you will bless each of our children with the gift of salvation. And we do just ask that you help every parent here. Please, Lord, just give them the wisdom they need to raise their children in this time, this age, where more and more people are turning away from you. Heavenly Father, we do just pray that you help us. And we ask now that your hand of blessing will be upon Temi and the whole family as they adjust to life now that Anthony and Joshua has been given to them. In Jesus' name we ask these things. Amen. 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 Now, may the Lord bless you and keep you. 
May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Amen. May the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace.